Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of debt. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern or belief. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking emotional experiences, we begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I constantly feel overwhelmed by the amount of debt I have. It's like a weight I can't escape. Every time I think about my finances, I feel a deep sense of anxiety and hopelessness. I believe I am doomed to be in debt forever, it feels like a cycle I can't break. Growing up, we always struggled with money, and I guess I've just accepted that is my fate too. I often lie awake at night, worrying about how I'll ever pay off my debts. I'm ashamed to talk about my financial situation, so I usually keep it to myself. In my family, talking about money was taboo, and I think that's affected how I handle my finances. I fear that I'll never be able to achieve my dreams because my debt is holding me back. I see myself always struggling financially, even in the future. I feel like I'm not in control of my financial situation, and that terrifies me. My relationships have suffered because I'm too embarrassed to admit my financial struggles. I often find myself spending impulsively, even though I know I shouldn't. I think the universe is against me when it comes to money. I fear I will always be living paycheck to paycheck, never able to save. I have this deep-seated belief that I don't deserve financial abundance. My parents always argued about money, and I feel like I'm destined to repeat their mistakes. I avoid looking at my bank statements because they just make me feel worse. I'm worried that my debt will keep growing, and I'll never be able to get out of it. I feel like my financial situation is a reflection of my personal failure. In the future, I fear I might be bankrupt or completely ruined by debt. I can't remember a time when I wasn't worried about money. I'm afraid that my financial situation will prevent me from ever finding a life partner. I believe that no matter what I do, I'll always be in debt. I feel guilty whenever I spend money, even on necessities. I think my health problems are partly due to the constant stress about my debts. I see my future self always being envious of others who are financially stable. I've inherited my family's bad luck with money, it's like a curse. I feel powerless to change my financial situation. I'm scared that I'll eventually lose everything because of my debts. I feel that my debt is a reflection of my inadequacies. My financial situation makes me feel unworthy and incapable. I'm concerned that I'll pass on my bad financial habits to my children. I often feel hopeless when I think about my ability to manifest wealth. I believe that being in debt is just a part of who I am. I'm worried that in the future, my financial situation will only get worse. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I lovingly acknowledge my feelings of being overwhelmed by debt, 
understanding it's a heavy burden. I warmly accept my anxiety and hopelessness about finances, recognizing the depth of these emotions. I compassionately embrace the belief that I am trapped in debt, acknowledging how real this feels. I gently hold my acceptance of financial struggle, knowing it stems from my upbringing. I understand my worries about debt at night, seeing them as a natural response to financial challenges. I compassionately accept my shame about discussing finances, knowing it's a personal journey. I recognize the impact of my family's taboo on money talks, and I kindly understand its effect on me. I empathize with my fear of debt hindering my dreams, feeling the weight of this concern. I lovingly acknowledge my vision of always struggling financially, understanding it as a deep-seated fear. I accept my feelings of not being in control of my finances, recognizing the terror it brings. I compassionately understand the strain on my relationships due to financial embarrassment. I gently recognize my impulsive spending, seeing it as a response to deeper financial anxieties. I warmly acknowledge my belief that the universe is against me financially, understanding its depth. I accept my fear of living paycheck to paycheck seeing it as a concern for my financial stability. I lovingly hold space for my belief of not deserving financial abundance, recognizing its deep roots. I empathize with my fear of repeating my parents' financial arguments, acknowledging its impact on me. I compassionately accept avoiding my bank statements, understanding the pain they cause. I acknowledge my worry about growing debt, feeling the seriousness of this concern. I warmly hold my belief that my financial situation reflects personal failure, understanding its impact. I accept my fear of future bankruptcy, recognizing this as a deep financial anxiety. I empathize with the constant worry about money, knowing it's been a lifelong challenge. I kindly acknowledge my fear of financial barriers to finding a partner, understanding its significance. I compassionately embrace the belief of perpetual debt recognizing how entrenched it feels. I understand my guilt over spending, even on necessities, seeing it as a reflection of financial stress. I acknowledge the link I see between my debts and health issues, understanding the stress connection. I hold my vision of future envy towards financially stable people with compassion, recognizing its pain. I compassionately accept the feeling of inheriting bad financial luck, understanding its emotional weight. I warmly embrace my feelings of powerlessness over my finances, recognizing the fear it entails. I understand my fear of losing everything to debt, recognizing the depth of this worry. I gently accept my belief that my debt reflects inadequacies, seeing it as a harsh self-judgment. I compassionately acknowledge feelings of unworthiness due to my financial situation, understanding its impact. I recognize the concern of passing bad financial habits to my children, feeling the weight of this responsibility. I empathize with my hopelessness about manifesting wealth, understanding how overpowering it feels. I accept my belief that debt is part of my identity, acknowledging the depth of this conviction. I warmly hold my worry about worsening financial situations in the future, recognizing the fear it brings. Section 3 visualizing positive change take a deep breath i am choosing now to see my debt as a challenge i can overcome feeling empowered to find solutions i am open to experiencing peace and clarity when thinking about my finances envisioning a hopeful future i could consider the possibility of breaking free from the cycle of debt imagining a life of financial freedom it would be nice if i could create a new financial legacy different from my upbringing full of prosperity and stability. I am capable of finding calm and solutions in the night, transforming my worries into plans for debt repayment. I am willing to explore being more open about my financial situation, finding strength in vulnerability and support. I have the opportunity to break the family taboo on money talks, fostering healthy financial discussions and habits. I am ready to let go of my debt holding back my dreams, visualizing achieving my aspirations with financial wisdom. I am beginning to see myself as financially capable and stable in the future, fostering a positive financial outlook. 
I am receptive to feeling in control of my financial situation, visualizing myself confidently managing my finances. I am shifting towards openness in my relationships about finances, building trust and mutual support. I can start making mindful spending choices, transforming impulsivity into financial savvy and control. I am open-minded about the universe supporting my financial growth, feeling aligned with abundance. I am allowing myself to envision a future of savings and financial security, breaking the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. I embrace the idea of deserving financial abundance, cultivating a mindset of wealth and worthiness. I am ready to create a different financial story from my parents, one of harmony and financial success. I am prepared to face my bank statements with courage, using them as tools for financial improvement. I am choosing to focus on reducing my debt proactively, envisioning a debt-free future. I am open to the possibility of seeing my financial situation as a challenge to overcome, not a personal failure. I can see the potential for financial stability and freedom, moving away from fears of bankruptcy. I am becoming more aware of creating a life where money worries are a thing of the past. I am open to discovering a partner who understands and supports my financial journey, fostering a loving and supportive relationship. I am ready to embrace financial changes, believing in my ability to be debt-free. I am choosing to view my spending with understanding and balance feeling guilt-free when taking care of necessities. I am opening myself up to managing stress effectively, improving my health alongside my financial well-being. I am leaning towards a future where I am the one who is financially stable, releasing envy and embracing my own path. I am exploring the idea of changing my family's financial narrative, transforming the so-called curse into a blessing. I am actively seeking ways to empower myself financially, moving from powerlessness to financial agency. I am willing to consider strategies to prevent financial loss, envisioning a secure and prosperous future. I am choosing to release the belief that debt reflects my worth, embracing a sense of adequacy and competence. I am reminding myself that my financial situation does not define my worth, fostering feelings of capability and self-value. I am choosing to set a positive financial example for my children, building a legacy of financial wisdom and responsibility. I am open to learning new ways to manifest wealth, feeling hopeful and capable in my financial journey. I am choosing to redefine my identity beyond debt, embracing a self-concept of financial competence and resilience. I am considering different ways to improve my financial situation, feeling optimistic about the future. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I constantly feel overwhelmed by the amount of debt I have, I lovingly acknowledge this feeling, understanding it's a heavy burden, and I am choosing now to see this debt as a challenge I can overcome, feeling empowered to find solutions. Although I often feel a deep sense of anxiety and hopelessness when thinking about my finances, I warmly accept these emotions, recognizing their depth, and I am open to experiencing peace and clarity, envisioning a hopeful future. Even though I believe I am doomed to be in debt forever, I compassionately embrace this belief, acknowledging how real it feels, and I could consider the possibility of breaking free from this cycle, imagining a life of financial freedom. While I've accepted struggling with money as part of my upbringing, I gently hold this acceptance, and it would be nice if I could create a new financial legacy, full of prosperity and stability. Although I often lie awake at night, worrying about paying off my debts, I understand these worries as natural, and I am capable of finding calm and solutions, transforming my worries into plans for repayment. Even though I'm ashamed to talk about my financial situation, I compassionately accept this shame, and I am willing to explore being more open, finding strength in vulnerability and support. While in my family, talking about money was taboo, I recognize its impact on me, and I have the opportunity to break this taboo, fostering healthy financial discussions and habits. Even though I fear my debt is holding back my dreams, I empathize with this fear, and I am ready to let go of it, 
visualizing achieving my aspirations with financial wisdom. Although I see myself always struggling financially, I lovingly acknowledge this vision, and I am beginning to see myself as financially capable and stable in the future. While I feel like I'm not in control of my financial situation, I accept these feelings, and I am receptive to feeling in control, visualizing myself confidently managing my finances. Even though my relationships have suffered due to financial embarrassment, I compassionately understand this strain, and I am shifting towards openness in my relationships about finances. While I often find myself spending impulsively, I gently recognize this behavior, and I can start making mindful spending choices, transforming impulsivity into financial savvy. Even though I think the universe is against me financially, I warmly acknowledge this belief, and I am open-minded about the universe supporting my financial growth. Although I fear living paycheck to paycheck, I accept this fear, and I am allowing myself to envision a future of savings and financial security. While I believe I don't deserve financial abundance, I lovingly hold space for this belief, and I embrace the idea of deserving financial abundance, cultivating a mindset of wealth and worthiness. Even though I fear repeating my parents' financial arguments, I empathize with this fear, and I am ready to create a different financial story, one of harmony and success. While I avoid looking at my bank statements, I compassionately accept this behavior, and I am prepared to face them with courage, using them as tools for improvement. Even though I'm worried my debt will keep growing, I acknowledge this worry, and I am choosing to focus on reducing my debt proactively. Although I feel my financial situation is a reflection of personal failure, I warmly hold this belief, and I am open to the possibility of seeing it as a challenge to overcome. While I fear future bankruptcy, I accept this fear, and I can see the potential for financial stability and freedom. Even though I've always been worried about money, I empathize with this constant worry, and I am becoming more aware of creating a life where these worries are in the past. Although I'm afraid my financial situation will prevent me from finding a life partner, I kindly acknowledge this fear, and I am open to discovering a partner who supports my financial journey. While I believe I'll always be in debt, I compassionately embrace this belief, and I am ready to embrace financial changes, believing in my ability to be debt-free. Even though I feel guilty when spending money, I understand this guilt, and I am choosing to view my spending with understanding and balance. While I think my health problems are partly due to stress about debts, I acknowledge this link, and I am opening myself up to managing stress effectively. Although I see my future self being envious of others' financial stability, I hold this vision with compassion, and I am leaning towards a future where I am financially stable. Even though I feel I've inherited bad financial luck, I compassionately accept this feeling, and I am exploring the idea of changing my family's financial narrative into a blessing. While I feel powerless to change my financial situation, I warmly embrace these feelings, and I am actively seeking ways to empower myself financially. Although I'm scared of losing everything due to debts, I understand this fear, and I am willing to consider strategies to prevent financial loss. Even though I feel that my debt is a reflection of my inadequacies, I gently accept this belief, and I am choosing to release it, embracing a sense of adequacy and competence. While my financial situation makes me feel unworthy and incapable, I compassionately acknowledge these feelings, and I am reminding myself that it does not define my worth. Even though I'm concerned about passing bad financial habits to my children, I recognize this concern, and I am choosing to set a positive financial example for them. While I often feel hopeless about manifesting wealth, I empathize with this feeling, and I am open to learning new ways to feel hopeful and capable in my financial journey. Although I believe that being in debt is part of who I am, I accept this belief, and I am choosing to redefine my identity beyond debt, embracing resilience. Even though I worry about worsening financial situations in the future, I warmly hold this worry, and I am considering different ways to improve my finances, feeling optimistic. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. 
These affirmations are designed to uplift your spirit, align you with your highest self, and resonate with the boundless love and support that the universe offers you. I am grateful for the strength and wisdom I've gained in transforming my financial struggles into opportunities for growth. I appreciate my newfound ability to approach my finances with calmness and clarity, fostering a sense of peace and hope. I am thankful for breaking free from the cycle of debt, embracing a life of financial freedom and abundance. I cherish the new financial legacy I am creating, one that is prosperous and stable, distinct from my past. I am grateful for the peaceful nights and the strategies I have developed to manage my debts effectively. I appreciate the courage and support I've found in being open about my financial situation. I am thankful for breaking the taboo around money talks in my family, fostering healthy financial habits and discussions. I cherish my ability to pursue my dreams unencumbered by debt, thankful for the financial wisdom I've gained. I am grateful for envisioning and moving towards a future of financial capability and stability. I appreciate my newfound sense of control and confidence in managing my financial affairs. I am thankful for the deeper trust and support in my relationships, fostered by openness about finances. I cherish my ability to make thoughtful spending decisions, transforming my financial habits. I am grateful for the universe's support in my journey towards financial growth and abundance. I appreciate my journey towards financial security and the ability to save, breaking free from living paycheck to paycheck. I am thankful for recognizing my worthiness of financial abundance, cultivating a mindset of wealth and prosperity. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.